Oh my gosh. Well, today we're drilling again. I got about 140 acres to drill, and I'm not using the 7530 today. I'm sitting in the 7215R. And I'm using this tractor today because we're done planting, and so we unhooked this tractor from the planter. And Dad is planning on baling today, and the 7530 is our baling tractor, and it has the monitor in there. Plus this field that I'm going to drill today, we actually got stuck with the pickup yesterday. And so it's nice to have a little bit more horsepower. This tractor has a little more weight. Unlike the last field, this field hasn't been tilled. And so it might be a little different. Well, the field conditions are definitely different in this field. Uh, we're not even putting a slot in the ground because we're not sinking in because it's not tilled. And so I'm gonna have to actually back up the seed just laying on the ground. So what I'm gonna do is a couple different things actually. Since you know I got 48 rows, 46 rows to work with, I'm gonna adjust these first three a little bit different. I'm gonna give 100 more pounds of down pressure to one, and then the next one I'm just gonna do the depth, and I haven't figured out what I'm gonna do with this third one yet. And then I'm gonna just kinda look at them. I'm sure I'll get a bad stand on that first 100 feet. So I'm gonna go back, probably reset my AB line and hit her again. I'll get out and check after about a round and then and make sure that it's looking good. And then hopefully I can stay in the tractor for the next seven hours. That looks like a pretty good slot, I think. We don't want these to go too deep. Yeah, and then you look at this slot and that's way too deep as compared to this one. But I think we'll keep going. Up ahead there's a big hole, so I'll have to go around that. So I'm on this north part right now, I'm doing the longer passes. And over here in this middle, we can see this greener area. And that's where we got the that's where we got the uh, corn in, and then further west of that, where all these puddles are, that's where we got our sorghum in at. And it's the south section that we got stuck in yesterday, right here in the middle of the screen. You can kind of see our tracks. We got stuck with the pickup. couple days we've been baling a lot of grass hay our second cutting of alfalfa is getting ready something that we've been renting we actually finally just got the first cutting cut and it's drying right now but it's been hard going it's been tough going because there's so much humidity in the air and I don't know if you can see it but like the trees in the distance you can see how hazy it is the air is full of so much moisture it just it looks like a Snoop Dogg concert out here well, I didn't think it was that wet, but I'm kind of stuck here. And I was thinking we could just pull it out backwards, but there's not really any, there's not really a good place to hook up to on the back here. Yeah, so that sucks. Oh, shoot. wasn't 
too bad. Hope I don't do it again. Oh, not again. Come on, go, 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 go. Oh, yeah. We made it. Really not itching to get stuck twice today. Jeepers, creepers. These weeds are just so tall, it's hard to see where the wet spots are sometimes. You gotta be kidding me. Does this even look wet? Oh my gosh. I think Jeff is still here. Now my plan is to do a quick endro just to figure out how far I can come because I don't want to get stuck anymore. portion is only 55 acres so it's still gonna take me about three hours right up here there's a kind of a trench and it got cut out quite a bit when it was raining a lot and there's an area down there where it's really deep and I'll have to go around it and hopefully it's not too wet so I don't get stuck but that first pass went good 99 degrees and it's gonna get to 100. And we got rain coming. And so that should be able to dry out the hay. So we can hay it. And then we'll get a rain. And then the grass will green up. And this millet will start coming. I'm not a fan of turning. And I really wanna just go right through this. Uh, I don't think I'll make it. It's it's pretty wet. I don't know. I just need prevent plant for my prevent plant. I'm gonna try it. Stay tuned. By golly, look at that. I can even slow down a little. Well, here's where we got stuck yesterday. Well, shoot. That's gonna be easy going. I'm with my brother here, and he was gonna fly the drone and take some video while I'm drilling. And I thought it was a good time to look at the seed and see how much we have left. And I noticed that we were getting dangerously low. And so I picked up. I didn't think I'd make it. And we're gonna head back. We're gonna we're gonna grab about 14 bags of seed, dump them in, and that should finish the rest of this field.
gonna get some supper and I'm gonna take a shower because they smell bad. But thanks for watching. If you haven't already, I know you'll want to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. See you later.